Hello everybody, welcome back to the Gregorius Maths video. Today we're going to be starting a series on differential geometry by looking at some basic definitions um, and topological manifolds. Also, um, I've started a Discord server, so if you have Discord and if you're interested, please do join. Um, anyone who joins, that's very much appreciated. Um, so yeah, the link will be in the description, the invite will be in the description. Anyhow, uh, yeah, this, this will be quite a short video, I suspect. We're just going to be giving some definitions and one very basic example of a topological manifold. Okay, so first we have to define what a locally Euclidean space of dimension n is. So, we say m is a locally... Euclidean space of dimension n n if now for every point p let's call it I pick in m we have an open neighborhood u uh, which is an open neighbourhood, and it's a subset of R n. Now this is the same n as the dimension. Okay, so this n and that n are the same. Okay, so we have, for every point p and m, we have an open sub neighbourhood U, a subset of R n, such that we have a homeomorphism phi, which takes you from U into phi of u, an open subset of r n. Okay? Now, using this definition here, we can define a topological manifold. Now, um, if you don't understand what any of the terms in this definition mean, including homeomorphism, they'll all be somewhere within my topology series. Um, okay, but I forget where I define what... I think I define what a Hausdorff space is in topology 1.6, if you don't know what it means. But in this video, I'm just going to assume that you know what it is. And I define a basis in 1.3 or 1.4, I'm not sure. No, 1.3, I think, is where I define what a basis is. But anyway... A topological manifold manifold okay is a space M such that M is locally Euclidean Euclidean Um, such that M is locally Euclidean um, Hausdorff's and second countable now what it means for a space to be sec topological space to be oh yeah sorry topological space M. Okay, and what it means for it to be second countable is that the basis, let's call it beta, is a countable set. And if you don't know what that means, I'm sure there's a Wikipedia article, I'm sure there's tons of great videos on it. But, yeah, um, I, I know that the real line, or the real numbers, are famously an uncountable set. Um, but anyway, the basis for the real line would be countable though. And any topological space M whose basis is countable is called second countable. Alright, now before I introduce any more terminology, which I will by the way, I'm just going to um, give one quick example and this one is a very very well known example, okay? So, the real line is a topological manifold right and 
the homeomorphism phi, which we can define, and actually the pair u, uh, actually, yeah, okay, topological manifold. All right, so we can pick u to be r. So we have u is r. And we have phi being the identity map in R. And in fact, we can generalize this for Rn. Okay, Rn is Hausdorff. And if we have the identity map in Rn, okay, that's a homeomorphism, which you can trivially, trivially check. It's Hausdorff, it's, it satisfies this, it's Euclid, locally Euclidean and it has a countable basis. Okay, now, this is a very fitting example because okay, because we define a chart is the pair u phi which we defined here. It's the pair u, phi. And now, to finish off the video, I will define what an atlas is. So we define an atlas, okay? An atlas is, so x is an n-dimensional atlas Okay, if, no, so given a, if, now, if we're given a chart or a collection of charts, given, let's call the collection of charts some random letter, I like sigma, given sigma equal to a collection of charts, u sub alpha, equip, equipped with the homeomorphisms phi sub alpha, indexed by some alpha in I, okay? This satisfies three properties. The first one is X is covered by U sub alpha. Sorry, I haven't written out alpha in a long time. Okay, number two is that, I'm sorry, number two is that, oh yeah, for, for every alpha and beta, hopefully I've written it correctly, I can't remember, in I, no, that looks wrong. It, it doesn't, in I, okay, cool, okay. Um, for every alpha and beta and i, um, phi alpha of u sub alpha intersect u sub beta is an open subset of Rn. And this n here and this n here the same okay n here and that n here they're exactly the same okay and number three is that given the map phi sub beta compose phi sub alpha inverse which takes you from phi sub alpha of u sub alpha intersect u sub beta, okay? And it outputs phi sub beta of u sub alpha intersect u sub beta, okay? Is C infinity, okay? And what this means, it's infinitely dif differentiable with C infinity inverse. 
and this is the definition for an atlas. In the next video, I'll give some examples of atlases and topological manifolds. Make sure you um, join my Discord server, and I'll see you in the next video. Goodbye.